This is going to my review for Godzilla vs. Kong. For me, Godzilla vs. Kong is such a mixed bag for me because the Godzilla vs. Kong action sequences, the action sequences are great. Great visual effects, great action sequences. Um, the Godzilla vs. Vers Kong stuff were so fun, so eviscerating. Greatly directed, great cinematography, great light, great visual effects. So on a technical level, those action sequences are great. Um, problem is, the story and the character, human characters suck. And, and a lot of people make this excuse like, well, of course the human and, and, and uh, the human and, um, oh, what's it, what's the one? Human and story are gonna suck, suck. But why is it so? I mean, yes, per the course for the uh, MonsterVerse films. I mean, and yeah, yeah. Um, we watch these movies for the Godzilla and Kong action sequences and the, the monster action sequences. Yes, we do watch them for that reason, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have good story. And especially since the monster action sequences in this movie really were only in it for not that long. It was like the third act was the big fights and stuff with Mecha Godzilla and then the Godzilla vs. Kong fight. And yeah, there was a whole aircraft carrier fight but other than that, this movie will had to survive on the story and the characters. And so if that didn't work, then literally 70% of the movie didn't work for you. So if 70% of the movie didn't work for you, how can the overall movie work for you? And again, the idea that, of course it's not gonna work. It's a Godzilla movie, it's a Kaiju movie. Of course, the human and character, human and, and, uh, and uh, story always suck. But the reality is, why is that? Why is that? Why is why do those characters have to suck? It doesn't have to suck. If you you know, a great writer is a great writer. There there's no excuse for a bad movie. If a movie is bad, it's bad. Not because of an excuse, it's bad because it's bad. And if the stories and the human characters are not well done, then the human characters are not well done because it's clearly that is a problem with the movie. And I think to glance over the fact that the characters are literally the people saying the dialogue, doing the things. And and it's like this idea that that you can't write a good Godzilla movie. That's ridiculous. You can make any movie good. You can make the Lego movie. A movie about Legos good. So my my idea of you can't make that good, my thought process is very simple when it comes to that. You know, that basis of, of stuff like that. It's simple. Make a good movie. Like, clearly, the writers behind these Godzilla movies clearly need to get better writers. That's, that's for sure. So I think it comes down to this. If the story and the characters are not good, then the action is off. Because at the end of the day, why is the story not good? Because the story has nothing to do with Godzilla versus Kong. Okay? The whole plot is Godzilla versus Kong. Yet the story is about Godzilla going rampant because he wants to find Mecha Godzilla. And Kong. Want, and, you know, Kong being sent to finding, you know, uh, Hollow Earth. Those two things have nothing really to do with each other in terms of bridging the gaps. Those, the story, basically, those two plot lines basically feel like plot devices to get Godzilla and, and Kong to fight. It felt like, how can we create two different plot lines to get them to meet? And I think if I were to compare this from other versus movies, and I put that in quotes, like a Batman versus Superman or a Civil War. Those two films, it felt inevitable that they would fight. The whole Civil War thing is about the Sokovan Accords, about Bucky, about Cap, about Iron Man, and their ideological views, and Zemo tampering. The whole movie was about the conflict that led to the war. And it led to the Civil War. The whole movie, they're in Civil War. They're going against each other. Avengers are in Civil War. And they're in a Civil War with each other. And Iron Man and Cap are facing different views. And you see that throughout the whole movie. Whereas Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla is the side character who's in it for 30 minutes of the movie. And is just doing his thing. You know, over there. And it's, a, it's a Kong movie with Godzilla as a guest appearance as a foe, as a henchman even. Cause at the end of the day, Godzilla's in it for the third act, or he's in it for the helicraft character. He's in it for the the, the, the craft sequence, the, the water sequence or whatever you want to call it. Boom, he's done. Up comes out for the third act. Up, oh, he's gonna do the fight, wins the fight. Okay, great, Godzilla's the winner, yay. Up, up, now you gotta fight Mechagodzilla. And it's just about boom, 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 boom. 
And it's a Kong movie, and I think that that is another problem. It's Godzilla versus Kong, and you're showing clear bias to who the hero is. And I think that's kind of a poor choice. I wish they would have went for a story and a plot that would have felt more inevitable, would have felt more natural to fight. The point is, the fights felt forced. It, I didn't really get a sense of why Godzilla and Kong were fighting. You know what I mean? If they kind of had a just because attitude. Yeah, sure. Maybe Godzilla's attacking and stuff. But why would Kong defend? Or why would Kong do this? Or, you know, Kong, heck, uh, you know, Kong barely left Skull Island. <laughs> so it's like, at the end of the day, it kind of confuses me. And it kind of felt like, well, we're doing it because they're going to fight. And that's fine. The fights are great. And so I won't. I'm fine with that. That's great. Okay. But everything else, I, I don't want to excuse anything else. So there's a lot of silly stuff. And a lot of it I can believe. And a lot of it I can let go for the great action sequences. But the action are so minute. There are so few action sequences. Instead, you get the story that really, for all intents and purposes, didn't make much sense. As well, the two didn't really connect. Sure, yeah, you could say Apex was behind both of them. But it, at, at that point, it felt rushed. All of a sudden, you know, Apex like, I'm evil. I'm going to, you know, get all the monsters killed. And it just felt, again, a stereotypical mustache twirling villain. You know, so it felt like the, the human characters were flat and one is so focused. Yeah, that's fine. A lot of people have created this excuse that, oh, what did you expect? Yeah, that's fine. I did expect the human characters to suck. But the human characters, similar to King of the Monsters, were so much of the movie. That's like saying, it's like saying, uh, uh, uh it's like, it's, it's dumb because, like, saying that the human characters don't work is, is like saying, I don't even know. It's like saying... I, I don't know how to compare it. Because the human the human characters are the movie at the end of the day. Yeah, it's Godzilla vs. Kong. But when you watch the movie, you realize that's the third act. That's the third act. Where it's like you see the Kong stuff. You see the Godzilla stuff. And Team Godzilla and their, their people doing Team Godzilla stuff were really like, oh my god, what are they doing? They're doing this, this, this. And it was like, okay, that's a little bit interesting. I, I did. I was more invested with the Team Godzilla stuff. Than the Team Kong stuff, because the Team Kong stuff, yeah, it was more important to the plot, but the Team Kong characters felt so stereotypical, like the stereotypical know-it-all female scientist who relates, like, of course, they always make the female scientist the one relating to the, the monster, and then you got the, the, the kind of tough guy who's like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the mission, you know, taking on, like, the Indian Jones moniker, and then you got the, the smart guy, and you got the, the, the kind of teen jerk girl or it, it felt like okay the characters are bland but that's fine if you give us great you know action sequences throughout the movie and i think that was the problem was i would honestly would like them there to be more godzilla in, act, in action especially when everything else was flat and that's the problem that that's the, the inevitable problem i had with this movie and king of the monsters which is that the godzilla and kong stuff were so great the human stuff were so bad and the human stuff were the key to this movie and that's the worst part and so whenever there's focusing on the human characters i just didn't care and whenever they were trying to develop the story i didn't care because it was like they're developing it in a silly way in a way that didn't really make sense and another thing is we all knew that at the end of the day godzilla vs kong are gonna fight so every time they would try to develop the story, it didn't really feel anything with me because I just knew that this didn't mean anything. And the story didn't mean anything. The idea of finding Hollow Earth had nothing to do with where the story ended up going. The plot of this movie was so irrelevant to where this movie ended up. You know, because again, movies essentially are getting are a story. Movies are stories. And a story you get from point A from point B. And this movie is like you get from point A and you get to point B. But then the, that's like the first two acts of the movie and then the third act goes bonkers. Where it's like Mega Godzilla is an afterthought. The whole fight sequence, Godzilla vs. Kong, felt like an afterthought. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, stay tuned for videos coming at you.